everyone, I'm Bonnie Krebs and uh, welcome to Watercolor the Art Impressions Way. Today we're going to uh, make this little birdhouse set. I love this set. I love the accessories that come in it. Uh, it comes with this really cute uh, long stem berries, a really tiny little filler, and this really neat accent stamp. I love this stamp. So we're going to use these, all of these. It also comes with a tiny little vine to use with the long stems. So I just really love this set. It's super easy to do, and um, you're gonna love doing this one. We also need um, the long vine from the basic foliage set. So in addition to these, in order to complete this image, we're gonna need to use uh, this also. Okay, so let's get started. So I've got the wood mounted stamps here that I'm going to be using. And then um, in addition, I'm also going to use the um, the vine from the, the uh, foliage set. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to ink the birdhouse using a blue. And this is the number 86 African Violet. Every project starts with one of two colors. So either a sepia or a blue. So an image that is going to be mostly white or shiny is going to start with the blue. And that's because that's the shadow color that we're pulling out. Anything that's an um, antique color or um, old and rustic is going to start with sepia. So I guess you have to decide first of all what color your birdhouse is going to be. Is it old and rustic? In that case you start with sepia. If it's going to be mostly white we'll start with African violet. Okay so I think I'll do this one mostly in the um, white. So let's ink this now. I'm just going to ink it with the African violet and then I'm going to stamp it on the watercolor paper right in the center, just like this. And then the first step is always the same. We're gonna dip our brush, pull off the extra water, pinch it off, and then we're gonna start by pulling the color out of the lines. We're just gonna drag the brush around and we're gonna pull this color out. And this area on the side, this is mostly in the shadow, so we can drag the color all the way across the entire image. This in here, where the opening is would be really dark. So we want to be sure we get enough color on there. Pull this down and that'll give you a little bit of a shadow. And we're about finished with that. We could do a little embellishment here, some detail, which is cute. And then I'm going to take um, a little of the sepia, put it on my palette and color in the uh, roof of the birdhouse. I want to leave the top, very top open. That's going to give more contour to your roof. And actually, if you can um, leave a little white space all the way around, that's going to be better too. It sort of pops your roof up off the birdhouse and makes it look a little more three-dimensional. Add a little color to here. And we're pretty much finished with this step. One more thing that you can do is take your fine point and where you can really darken things in, do that. This area inside here in this little opening would be really, really dark. So we want to make sure we really get that dark. Okay, we're ready to move on to the next step and that's the flowers and foliage. So before we do that, we want to take our brush and we want to just drag some of this color out. We want to kind of pull this to the outside so that we get a little more contrast. You really only have to do this on one side. Just pull some of this color out. Okay, I'm going to start with the foliage. This is the um, large vine from the foliage set. So I'm just going to ink that. And remember we want to stamp it in a sequence of five. It's really, really important to do that. So one, two, three, four, five. We need to have that light and dark contrast. So let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five. And then we can just add water and just touch all these little vines. This is all gonna blend together. And when you're finished, it's going to look like a little watercolor painting. Nobody will be able to tell that you stamped it. 
and will be amazed. And you can do this so quickly. It doesn't take very many markers. In fact, it's better to just use simple colors. Don't mix too many colors. You can blend this color in from the birdhouse right into your foliage. Okay, so let's add something tall in the background. Let's take these little berries. Let's ink these. And I'm going to ink the berries with the magenta. And then I'm going to ink the vine. And I'm just going to stamp this next to the birdhouse. Remember in a sequence of five. One, two, three, four, five. And let's do that again. Let's add a few more here on the other side. One, two, three, four, five. And then we can add the water. And you just want to touch all these little berries. This is where a tiny brush comes in handy. I'm using a four right now, but um, a little brush would work really well to get all this detail. And see how the dark comes forward? The darkest berry is the one that, that I stamped first. Those come into the foreground and the light ones just kind of fade out into the background. We have the idea of things. That's what we're looking for. Very abstract. This is just so much fun. And see how those berries just kind of fade back into the background. Okay, so let's add our little um, filler flower. This is a tiny one. I just love this little stamp. So I'm going to ink a few of these. We don't really need to ink all of them. And I'm going to walk it in a circle. One, two, three, four, five. You're just really pressing and keeping your hand on the, on the mat. And then add water and just touch all these little images, all these little blooms. And just blend this all together. This just works like magic. And you can see you have the light in the background and you have the dark in the foreground. It will just automatically do it. And the more you blend, softer it gets. You can blend all this together. Let's add one more thing, the little accent. <clears throat> this is kind of the exception to the rule of stamping in a repeat. A little accent stamp like this is really only made to stamp one time. So let's just ink it and I'll show you what I mean. So I inked, it, inked the blooms and then I inked the stem and we're just going to stamp it once like that. Maybe another one up here and another one out here. And then just touch it with the water. And you can see they're just little accents. Be sure to sign your work. And there you go. Thanks for watching.